Have you ever been misunderstood despite having good intentions? Today I'm going to share with you some ways in which you can make sure that others will understand exactly what you want to tell them. Stay tuned! Hi, this is Sebastian Antonovich and on my 5-minute psychology channel, which I hope you have already subscribed to, I normally talk about psychology and the way in which we can use it in practice, in real-life situations. Today, let's talk about effective and non-violent communication. Have you heard about Dr. Rosenberg? He is the promoter. He developed the whole idea of non-violent communication. Today, let's concentrate on how empathy can make us better communicator and enable our communication. For those of you who have not heard about nonviolent communication, I will just tell you that the whole concept was developed by Dr. Rosenberg. And to put it in short words, I could say that nonviolent communication puts empathy before education and it puts understanding before correction. Think about these words, how often we have this need, this tendency to educate people, to teach them what they are doing wrong, or to feel, to make them feel that actually we are the only right person. Now, this will never help you communicating. Instead, make sure you use your empathy. Try to boost it as much as you can and approach every human being with empathy. It helps in communicating. It can also make it easier for you to bond with the other person, to create this connection, to understand that we are all human beings and even though we have different ways of communicating, all in all we have very similar needs. All of us we want to be understood. All of us we want to be heard. As a professional coach, I know how important it is to listen to my clients. And one of the elements of real professional coaching is to listen rather than to talk and ask if anyone is ready for any sort of advice. Don't make this mistake to give your advice to someone who doesn't need it or someone who is not ready for it yet. Wait for them to ask you for your advice. Everybody hurts sometime. Pain is a natural element of our life, but pain makes it so much more difficult to communicate. If you want to make your communication better, you need to activate your empathy in order to connect with the other person. Once you have established this connection, the other person will be so much more eager to listen to what you have to say. They will be able to speak what's on their mind without any barriers. Sometimes we have this impression that when someone is telling us something important for them, that they expect us to advise them, to help them, maybe. Maybe to show them a way in which they can solve a problem, or maybe to reassure them. Sometimes it's true, but in many cases, all this other person needs from us is to be present. That's the most important thing we can do to make other people feel better, but to be truly present here and now, not to browse something on your mobile phone, not to uh, do something else in the meantime, just be truly present and listen Listen to what the other person needs you for. We very often concentrate on the differences between us because yes, there are plenty of tiny little differences between us. But if we look at human beings all as a group, all of us, we have more or less the same needs. We have a need of respect. We have a need to be listened to and heard. We want to be appreciated. We want to be loved. We want to be safe, etc. 
So it makes us not all that different. And if we want to survive as a species, we need to understand that this is something we all have in common, no matter how we communicate. Some of us are better communicators, some of us maybe not so much. But let's listen to each other. Let's try to understand and let's empathize. I believe that this is the only way in which we can survive as a species. When we are hurt by someone, it's so difficult to forgive. When something like this happens, it's pretty natural that we concentrate on our own pain and very often we forget that the fact that someone has hurt us perhaps was caused by the fact that this person was also hurt in the first place by someone else, somewhere else, some other time. And the fact that they are hurting us right now is the effect of it. But you know what? Let's not wait until we are ready to forgive them. Let's just try to understand them. Let's just empathize with them. Let's listen to what they want to tell us. Not what they are saying, not the exact words. Because these words, they can be caused by emotions. But let's dig deeper. And once we do understand their situation better, there is no need for forgiveness. Problems happen. They happen to all of us, almost all the time. Sometimes the little ones and plenty of them, sometimes the big, big ones. And we concentrate a big part of our life on how to solve these problems. But the fact is that it's not really about solving the problems. It's about truly connecting with others. Once we are able to create this bond, this understanding between us, you'll see how quickly it will turn out that there are fewer and fewer problems in your life. Think about it. Most problems that you're struggling with on a daily basis are caused by the lack of communication or poor communication. This is the solution to your problem before it happens. This is prevention. As human beings, we are all vulnerable, which means that we can get easily hurt by others, especially if we listen only to the words they use instead of trying to hear what they are really saying, what's really on their mind. Sometimes we use hurtful words as an expression of our emotion. Sometimes we are not even able to understand that we are angry with someone or with something and that we are diffusing this frustration by using some aggressive words. Remember about it next time someone is trying to analyze you or your behavior or tells you something painful about yourself. Think about it, analyze it for a moment. Perhaps there is some truth in it, but perhaps this other person has just been hurt and they are trying to diffuse it. It's always better in a situation like this to truly be present there and try to understand what's on the mind of the other person. Try to show them your understanding. Try to get as deep as you can into their pain. Perhaps this way you will be able to communicate better. I've conducted dozens of classes and courses on how to diffuse stress and frustration and how to prevent some stressful situations. What behaviors can make you feel better when you are stressed. And actually in all of these techniques, one of the dominant things you can do is to concentrate on others rather than to concentrate on yourself. Think about it. When there are a lot of people who have plenty of problems and if you concentrate on them, then suddenly it turns out that your problems are no longer so serious. Helping others means helping yourself. It's a win-win situation. So this is how 
empathy is important for our process of communication. I hope you will watch my next video about communication and non-violent communication. Let me know in the comments how good are you in empathizing with others and I'll see you next time.